What's going on everybody? A very common situation that I hear often in the comment section or via email is that maybe you picked up a Total Gym a year ago, maybe even picked up a Total Gym 20 years ago, uh, but then you just kind of stopped using it, ended up just kind of sitting in your basement collecting dust, uh, basically it's not being used. And there's a lot of reasons for that. I understand of why maybe you stopped using it, but the big issue is it's simply just not getting used. And I know it's a very obvious and simple statement, but in this video, I wanna tackle this broadly and directly because I think this is a foundational point and just thing to cover to really get the most out of these sliding bench trainers and ensure that you're actually gonna use it and then therefore reap the results. Uh, and even in making this video, it occurred to me that I myself am guilty of some of these things I'm gonna be addressing. So it was kind of uh, enlightening for me just kind of thinking about this and going through it. Uh, so regardless of your sliding bench training age, I think you may find this video either uh, useful to yourself or someone else. So please consider sharing this video if you do think someone else might uh, get something out of it. Now I want this to be somewhat of a short video and some of the reasons maybe you're not using the machine might relate to other relevant concerns on just how to use the machine properly, like a uh, form, uh, programming related questions. I made tons of longer videos related to this that you guys can find in a uh, beginner playlist or also have a programs playlist if you guys are interested in that. Uh, both of which I'll be adding a lot more videos on in the near future. Before we get going, want to get this out there, please comment down below and share your own experiences, any of even questions or concerns regarding being consistent with these sliding bench trainers or Total Gym. Uh, and please consider liking it or subscribing, it's always helpful. Now what you're seeing in the backdrop of this video are really just two separate workouts. One was a lower body focus day and one was an upper body focus day. And on both of these uh, different workouts, a couple things were actually happening that were consistent. You know, one, I had limited time to work out in both days. I was trying to just get as much in as I could or just kind of going through the motions in a fairly quick window of time. I had like, I think 20 to 30 minutes at, at least uh, to work out. Uh, the workout was fun on both days because you know, I wasn't really killing myself. I was switching exercises, choosing things that I like. Uh, or maybe just sticking with one or two exercises that I felt pretty good as I started getting into the workout. Uh, and we all know just, you know, sliding benches in general are pretty fun to just to jump onto compared to other forms of resistance training, which I've gotten into many times on this channel. Uh, I'm listening to something stuff in the background, like music or something that's on YouTube I'm listening to. Um, when I started these workouts, I had no idea what exercises I was gonna do, what rep scheme, uh, sets, and stuff like that. All I know is I had like a limited window of time. Uh, certainly I had my staple of exercise, which feel good. Uh, and that I like, which I encourage you guys to kind of, you know, fine tune and pick some exercise that you guys like for those different areas, like upper and lower body parts. But also you're seeing in the video, I'm, I'm incorporating some of the extra attachments, some extra weights. So that in itself was also not just fun, but also kind of mix up the workout in itself. Now me highlighting these kind of simple things that were similar in these workouts, I understand people looking at still might have a lot of just questions of like, okay, what tower, why did you pick that tower height? Uh, I still need to figure out the form and, and the sets and the reps. And again, even, even these exercises, I can understand that I have tons of videos if you guys want to look at that but what i find not just with a total gym but just fitness in general is that people in my opinion really overanalyze way more than they need to when they start approaching some sort of new form of fitness or just trying to getting in like a routine or habit of physical activity uh, they can get so bogged down by the details or just feel like everything has to be just right or they won't have a good or effective workout and I even know people that just feel discouraged even after they do a workout um, and it was a, you know maybe a decent period of time workout but they still feel like well I, I, it wasn't good something I did something wrong and they're still like kind of second guessing themselves and I still feel like they didn't accomplish something and I've even found this with even my wife and I you know I can speak for her she said I could but you know she's busy she's got we got four kids and we have uh, you know they're all really young sometimes it's fine it's hard to find a time for her to kind of work out or she says that or like some free time you know grand we might have some free time but you kind of cherish those little moments you know like maybe the night or in the early morning and you don't really feel like working out and so you kind of basically push off or what she's told me she's kind of pushed off her workout because she wants to have that ideal window of time and also opportunity maybe she wants a set routine of stuff she wants to do and if it's not there she just doesn't work out that particular day uh, this is kind of what I'm what I'm getting into and where you're kind of giving up a whole opportunity to work out because you're so focused on everything has to be just right versus basically saying something is better than nothing. And even thinking about this video, I knew that I'm kind of guilty of this. And you guys know from watching this channel uh, for a while, I've kind of commented that I kind of a little bit, I kind of slack a little bit on the on the leg department where I feel like I kind of substitute some of my leg days with my, my rowing, which does work your legs or other cardio activities or even like core exercises as well. And a lot of times just because, you know, I kind of prefer doing upper body or sometimes I'll say I'm going to do a leg day or a lower body day. And if everything's not kind of placed right, or I feel like, well, if I'm not going to have a really good workout, or I'm not really just really feel like doing it that day. I'll just postpone it for later on when really, even if I just got in or squeezed in one or two, three sets or one or two different exercises, 
just to kind of fit it in there because odds are it probably would increase in time anyways that's something be better than nothing even if i squeezed in like one or two sets of some legs on the total gym and then did my rowing or my cardio or whatever i was going to do that day for my physical activity it was still something with better than nothing i think in the long run my legs would have still been you know better off than they were and i really wouldn't have felt like i missed out on too much or feel like i was really sacrificing that much and the same goes for like my core exercises or abdominal exercise a lot of times i just don't have time to really squeeze them in um, even though it's not that hard to kind of squeeze them some stuff but if i really want to get some more training in throughout the week i could just kind of put in one or two sets instead of saying well like those one or two sets or three sets or one or two exercises aren't gonna be that effective when really um it was either me doing them a little bit or not doing them at all so what I'm saying to you guys that are struggling, just kind of using the machine, trying to find that ideal situation that works for you guys is just use the machine. Uh, make a time each week, maybe set down on a schedule and just say, you know, at least on these days of the week, I'm going to be doing something three to four times a week. You could even really do it every day. I'm just kind of cautious about saying that because some people could overdo it a little bit, but you could even do something a little bit each day if you really wanted to. But on those three to four days, just say, you know, I'm going to, you know, maybe keep it a theme. You could do an upper body day or just a lower body day and just focus on if it's upper body, just some pushing, some pulling exercises. And for legs, pick, you know, one to three different exercises that you like. Um, or it could be, like I said, a total body exercise and just doing a little bit of everything. Doesn't have to be exhaustive and certainly some days can be harder than others. And I'm definitely not discouraging you guys from following a program or some sort of template or you know, obviously watching my uh, follow along workouts. Those are there for, for helpful uh, guidance as well. If you guys want something structured, that would be a little bit harder, maybe a little bit longer. But certainly for a beginner or someone who's just struggling with consistency, maybe you pick these things up and you're having a history of just like getting on and off again or kind of falling off the wagon, so to speak, or maybe you just picked one of these machines up. The most important variable above any other exercise variable like rep sets and ideal exercise or perfect program is just being consistent with the machine. And I'd say secondarily, even though it's tied together with it, would be just adhering to the machine, just kind of sticking with it. You have those two things, adherence and, and consistency you got a recipe for success as long as you just kind of keep at it. So find ways that make this a part of your weekly or daily habits and just kind of just shove it in there no matter what you have to do to kind of fit it in your day. Uh, if that means placing this thing in your living room or your TV room, what I used to call it when I was little, uh, that's the best thing you could do. I mean, I I would do that. I just, my wife won't let me put it upstairs in the living room, otherwise I would. But that's what I do. And these, these workouts I'm highlighting this video, these were fun things. I had like a, a little window to squeeze out of time. And these are kind of just fun times. I put something on the background, I'm listening to stuff. And I didn't say it yet in this video, but I say it often. I just get lost in the machine. I couldn't because I only had a limited time window, but that's a, hopefully what this machine does. And if you're looking at it that way, where it's just kind of like a fun timeout time where you're just listening to stuff or you can even watch stuff. I'm, I mean, be careful how you do that. Um, I know people do watch TV when they're on this thing. Um, you can do that. Uh, so. I, could, I don't want to elaborate and draw this out too much, but hopefully this rings a bell in some of your guys' heads about how to uh, stick with the machine, being consistent, maybe not just in, in like a big, big spectrum, but even like small body parts, like I said, I was kind of struggling with. So thanks you again for watching. Any questions, comments, feedback, please put them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.